to Health Matters. The National Primary Healthcare Development Agency says it will train 120,000 frontline health workers across the country to boost and enhance their effectiveness and efficiency in the discharge of their duties. Theophilos Darifai has more. These are frontline health workers from across the 14 local government areas of Zamfara State. They've converged on GUSOF for a five-day training on integrated service delivery aimed at boosting their skills in delivering quality health services to the people. The training is organized by the United States President's Malaria Initiative for States Projects in collaboration with the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency and the Zamfara State Primary Healthcare Board. Nearly 80 frontline health workers here in Zamfara will benefit from the training and are expected to step down the training to 200 frontline health workers across the state. The executive director of the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, represented by Musa Ashe, who speaks on the importance of the training. Actually, the frontline healthcare workers, uh, they are facing challenges in Zamfara, uh, lack of competency and skills in terms of uh, delivering primary healthcare services. And generally, all over the Federation, uh, that we are going to train 120,000 frontline healthcare workers, generally, all over the 36 states in the Federation, including the FCT. Uh, this training is going to be five days training. Uh, it includes all the uh, basic primary healthcare and even specialized services that the government is trying to decentralize. For example, HIV, uh, TB, and uh, uh, even leprosy. He adds that the training will also help in reducing the spread of diseases like HIV, tuberculosis, among others. We have polio, we have meningitis, we have tuberculosis, we have HIV. So we are going to train all those, all those people. How are they going to uh, manage those ones at facility level? And they take long time. They didn't, we did not do this kind of training. So now the minister, under the leadership of President Bola Ametenebu, he brought this training. Some participants at the training says the training will go a long way in helping them to serve their people better. This training will help me because it's all about integration. We are going to combine all our services and our health facilities like malaria, HIV, TB and immunization. So we are going to cascade it to our service provider in our health facility when we work. The training is expected to end this Friday. Safe Lazarufay, TVC News, Guso. Now that crisis.